Hi, my name is Afri Skay, and this is e -Rides coming to you with our engineer, uh, Kevin, who has put together the torque version of the Commander and the speed version of the Commander. And this is just a very quick um, video just to give our feedback on the difference. I think we are probably the only two that are reading the torque and the speed together outside of China. As far as I know, right? That's right, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what do you think about, I'll give my opinion later, mm -hmm. but what do you think about the differences? What, what stands out to you between these two wheels? Okay, the, uh, the top version I like, no. it, it's, um, it's like a beast. I mean, I, the, the only way I can describe it, yeah. it's, it's more superior to the EXN. Well, it, yeah. It's got... The XN on steroids, I remember you said yes. that, right? Yeah. The XN on steroids. That's right. It's, it's an EXN on steroids. <laughs> mm. As soon as you put your full weight on it, mm. it just takes off. Yeah. And even when you're in the middle of about 30 or 50 kilometer, mm. and you push it, mm. and it just takes off again. Yeah. So whatever wheel you have, it will leave that wheel behind. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the top version. Yeah. My view on the top version is very similar to yours as well. I feel like it's very similar to um, to the wheel called the MSS by by I think um, EUC service. Now you have to also remember that these wheels weigh 36 kilograms, right? 36, That's right. They, so this is 36.5 kg. I think the speed version is probably about 36. Um, but my experience of the torque is the torque is probably the better choice. And I'll tell you why. Now, the speed will be going head to head with the Sherman, inevitably, right? Mm -hmm. So there is, but we all know that the, that the Sherman lacks torque. That's right. And this yes. is where the top version comes in. Mm -hmm. um, so if you, if you want a compact wheel that has torque mm -hmm. and has range, mm -hmm. then you'll probably go for the top version, right? Yeah. I think at the moment, with mm. all the wheels I've written, yeah. the top on this Commander <laughs> is the best. Oh, yeah. no, no, no questions about it. <laughs> no, it's amazing. It's amazing. Yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, as I said, this is just a quick, quick uh, feedback. We also have, we also have the, the, the Mighty Monster Pro here, which is the only other wheel that has 3,600 watt hour battery in there as well. So these two have 3,600 3, hour battery. Let me show you the difference between the Commander that have 3,600 and the Monster Pro that also have 3,600 as well. So you understand how compact the Commander is. So I'm gonna just put this up. Now, side by side comparison. And they both have the same capacity of battery in them. And I think this is why most people will probably go for the Commander because in terms of range and compatibility, the Commander uh, probably wins out. Saying that, the bigger wood um, circumference of the Monster Pro will definitely help you at high speed. It's a lot more comfortable. I mean, well, what do you think, Kevin? Obviously, you're reading all these wheels. When, when you're riding the Monster Pro. On the high speed, the Monster Pro, mm. You find because it's got a bigger wheel and diameter wheel, yeah. you find it a little bit more stable. Yeah. Obviously, it's more planted. It's more planted. Yes. Yeah. And, and you can actually feel the power on yeah. the on the Monster Pro. Yeah, but the Monster Pro weighs 45 kg, and this guy's weighs. Yes. Yes. The, the weight is the problem. The yeah. weight is definitely the problem. Yeah. Exactly. All right. As I said, this is just a quick feedback on what we on what we think about these three wheels, essentially. And um, yeah. Until next time. Thank you, Kevin. And Thank you. Uh, I'll speak to you later. Okay. Take care. Bye.